The verdict is out on the fate of two new nuclear reactors in Ulsan. After taking into account the result of public opinion, the construction will resume in the southeastern city. While the Moon Jae-in administration's plan to phase out nuclear power remains unchanged, the government is following through with its pledge to adhere to the demand of the majority of Koreans. Ji Myung-gil has our top story. A state commission to decide the fate of the Shingori 5 and 6 nuclear reactors announced on Friday the results of the 90-day public opinion survey over whether to restart or permanently halt the construction of the two reactors. The final survey results show 59.5 percent are in favor of resuming the construction, 19 percentage points higher than 40.5 percent who opposed. Currently, the two reactors are about 30 percent complete, with some 1.4 billion U.S. dollars spent on the project. The commission also stated that although the 471-person jury voted in favor of restarting the construction, when it comes to future policy, over 50 percent of the participants advised the government to opt for cleaner sources of energy, while some 35 percent were in favor of maintaining the use of nuclear energy. Soon after the announcement, the presidential office of Chong Ade said it respected the results and added it would come up with follow-up measures. President Moon Jae-in will preside over a cabinet meeting on October 24th and will make the final decision over whether to accept the committee's recommendation. Once the cabinet approves, the state-run electric power company will notify contractors and restart the construction. But while the decision to restart construction is a setback for President Moon, the Commission's other findings could be seen as in line with the Moon administration's plans to phase out Korea's reliance on nuclear energy in the long term. The administration's proposal to scrap the reactor's construction had sparked heated debate in a country that relies on nuclear reactors for about a third of its electricity. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.